The restoration project moved to Belmont in 2017 with the mission to restore neurologically impaired individuals to self-sustaining lives by offering them challenging employment and facilitating their return to the community. We spoke with Eloise Newell about this mission and about the thrift store they operate at the corner of Pleasant Street and Brighton. Well, my name is Eloise Newell and I'm the founding director of Restoration Project. Restoration Project is a vocational program for people with mental illness and brain injuries. We finish and upholster furniture as work therapy. We aren't teaching people how to be refinishers and upholsters. We use methods that no one uses anymore, but it is for their internal improvement. My son is a sophomore in college, became schizophrenic, and he had a very strong work ethic. And um, so he was determined that if he could just work, he would be fine. So I hired someone to teach him, and we started in my house. And so within four months, we were incorporated, and people were coming to our house. And um, that was 25 years ago, so it's grown since. Recovery is in three parts. First is internal, and working with your hands is very good for your head and for your self-esteem. And then the second step is your immediate surroundings. You find the house where you want to live. You get a car. And the third step is going out in the community and getting a job. And when they're ready um, to branch out, they work in the store. And then we have a job developer who helps them decide what kind of job they want and then helps them find the job. Our teachers are volunteers. They're a wonderful group of people who really believe in what they're doing and, and show that they do. So oh what God, we're doing yeah. is we're taking the form. We, we need so more volunteers. You know, they can work in the store, they can work with our participants. If they don't know how to finish in a poster, that's not a problem, we'll teach them how to. Because having the community here makes a difference for people who have been shunned, really, from the community. One right there. When you start with something that is ugly, battered and dirty, and, and then turn it into something beautiful, you cannot help but identify with it. 